So can you tell me, what are the challenges facing Leeds and the city region at the moment? Do you know, there are so many. It's an interesting question. For me personally, we've lost from the um, budget of Leeds City Council 40%. 40%. It is incredible the amount that we've already taken out, about 180 million. Cost pressures um, rising, about 300 million in terms of adult social care, children's services. I think the, um, the real issue for local authorities is, first of all, how we continue to do, do what we do. And for some local authorities, there is a real question mark about two years down the line, what place they will be in. We believe in encouraging economic growth, absolutely crucial to the city, and we are being very successful. But, you know, there are so many young people in particular in cities like Leeds who don't have the skills and are unable to take advantage of the incredible opportunities that we're creating. And so West Yorkshire um, and Leeds is a part of that combined authority, received its devolution deal um, earlier this year. Does that go far enough to helping you to address those problems? Well, we, we, we achieved a growth deal through the Leeds City region earlier this year, but we're now talking about another um, set of circumstances, as, as I said, an unexpected Conservative majority, George Osborne, came out and said very keen to progress devolution, significant devolution in terms of resource and and powers, but the price of that, if you like, is that um, our geographic areas based on combined authorities will have to accept a change of governance in having a directly elected mayor. And that is the, the, the conversation. So in West Yorkshire, Leeds, Wakefield, Bradford voted two years ago significantly in the referendum against directly elected mayors. So the negotiations that we're undertaking at the moment are on you know, the, the significance of what the government is prepared to devolve down to local areas that would enable us to make an argument for a change of governments that, frankly, um, the populations of our areas rejected soundly very, very recently. So if Leeds were to get fiscal devolution, that would go much further than the Greater Manchester deal um, at present. And you could argue that Leeds is otherwise currently trailing behind uh, Greater Manchester? Well, I think um, Greater Manchester are in the same discussions as well. They, they're not sitting still with the deal they've already got. They're asking for more powers as well, and this is a, a consistent thread um, running, running through all of the conversations we have. If we have those powers and that resource and we can work with our local partners, our um, performance is off the scale compared to imposed um, situations from London. We have um, experience of that in the West Yorkshire, Leeds City region area through the devolved youth contract. Our success rate of young people moving from being neat into sustained employment and training is 8 out of 10. The DWP equivalent programme is only reaching 3 out of 10. And that speaks volumes to me because they don't engage locally with business to find out what the real barriers to employing our young people actually are. They don't work with the colleges to make sure that the skills um, are being developed and they, they don't work adequately with us to pull the whole thing together. But it sounds like there's a risk that devolution is just austerity through the back door. Well, uh, uh, do you know there's a risk both ways and it's a judgment call whether actually the risk of doing nothing and letting government continually um, impose on us without us having a say is probably a greater risk than actually um, accepting uh, the deal that we get and uh, making what we can of it. Britain is probably the most centralised country in the industrial um, industrialised world. It can't continue. It is not effective. There was an idea mentioned a few years ago about having a mayor for the north. What are the limits of devolution within that new narrative? The core cities have put together a very clear prospectus about place. And I think that whole debate about place is one that we're just really at the beginning of. It is deeply frustrating to us to have to go to, to Whitehall to talk about where schools can be built, for example. We don't have that um, ability anymore to open our own schools. 
and to find that the academies division doesn't talk to the free schools division, doesn't talk to other parts within that department, never mind, you know, talking to the other great departments of state. Um, I think um, it's time that nationally government follows the example of local government in actually really getting underneath some of these issues, pulling together, working collectively on behalf of the people that we, we look after and represent.